what I do that defines me. Today's a great day because I get to introduce to you my new three and a half inch micro PV quadcopter frame design, the Bat. Of course, I'll go over some of its unique design features, but first I'll show you how the Bat flies with a short flight video, show you my pin filter settings for my Bat quad build, and even let you see the gyro spectrograms from his black box log to give you an idea of just how electronically quiet the Bat actually is. Before we get started, make sure to hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe to your TMAC FPV channel. You're home for your turn the better, FPV fun, flights, and racing stuff. Alright, for this bat quad build, these are my PID settings. I've disabled D-min and I've moved the sliders as you see here. And my filter settings. I've left these at their defaults. And these values down here you see have been modified from their default values. Alright, what I'm going to show you now is the filter gyro spectrograms for the flight which you just observed in the flight video. These are the noise graphs, if you will, that I referred to earlier on in the intro. The signal or noise amplitude would be on the y-axis and its frequency would be on the x-axis. Your stick commands are down here below 100 hertz. So if we were seeing any noise on the roll axis after beta flight filters were implemented, we would see more of this green stuff up here along the x-axis and we don't. Let's take a look at the pitch axis. Basically the same thing. Look at that. Very quiet. And the yaw axis? Same. So what this tells me is the bat frame kit can be extremely electronically quiet and this build with the bat frame kit is an extremely quiet build. So why did I take some time to show you how well the bat quad flies and just how electronically quiet it can be if today's video is about the bat frame? Well I want to make sure you believe me when I let you know it's a three and a half inch 3D printed quad frame. That's right it's 3D printed with some special carbon fiber infused filament I was able to get a hold of to use for this design. That's great, but what does that mean for you? Well, since I'm able to print carbon fiber infused frames, that just means their designs are only limited by imagination, and your inputs, which I'm happy to hear if you just put them down in the comments section below, or shoot me an email at tmac at tmacfpv.com. It also means I can make them at a lower cost, which I can then pass on to you in savings. That's important to make FPV flight affordable and accessible to as many pilots as possible. So let's take a closer look at this bat frame kit. All right, here's what the bat quad looks like coming fresh off the printer. It flies great as is without any additional prep, or it can be sanded a bit and then painted if you'd like. Here's the results after a little bit of sanding, spot putty, and painting, similar to what I did with the TMAC FPV logo in my first 3D print project video you can check out through a link below. The base plate is about three and a quarter millimeters thick, and the top plate is between two and a quarter and two and a half. This is a dual stack frame where you can mount two 20 by 20 stacks using these variable mounting positions or even two all-in-one boards with 26 by 26 mounting patterns without using any additional mount adapters. 
Of course, you can have a 20 by 20 stack mounted up front or back with an all-in-one board in the other position. You can even mount the all-in-one boards either diagonally, as I've shown here, or square to the frame at both locations, depending upon your need. It's your choice. I've designed this frame to be as versatile as possible. I'm going to build this one out as a digital back quad with a Fat Shark Shark Bite TX5 S.1 single board 26 by 26 VTX mounted up front square to the frame and the Diatone Mamba F722 Mini Mark II 20 by 20 stack mounted in the rear. Of course for our back quad it only seems fitting that I'll be using the Dark Knight version of my favorite 1404 micro motors from Airblade UAV. These happen to be the 2500 kV version, but you can also get them in the 3850 and 4850 kV. All right, the bat frame kit comes with a base plate and the top plate, both of which are made from a special carbon infused filament to add both strength and rigidity. It comes with six aluminum 25 millimeter M2 knurled standoffs, which go in these six positions, four up front and two in the back. It also comes with a 3D printed TPU micro camera mount which just slides on the four knurled standoffs up front like this. And then you just put the standoffs up front like that. Now one thing I wanted to point out on this micro FPV camera mount is that it's narrow enough height wise that you can slide it up and down on the standoffs to your desired height. So it's variable in height for your FPV camera as well as variable front and back with these three different mounting holes on either side. So you can use different ones of these based on the length of your FPV camera. The kit obviously also comes with a sufficient number of M2 screws which you can see here I've already got in place up front and in back. It's easy to assemble, great for beginner FPV pilots, and it's an efficient and effective design. All right, let's see what the completed build weighs in at. 150.85, nice. How about with a 4S 750 milliamp hour LiPo? 23751. And let's go bigger with a 4S 1100 milliamp hour lipo. 241.42, that's what I'm talking about. That's the three and a half inch micro FPV frame, the bat. Let me know what you think about it and make sure to check it out on the Pilot's Den page of my site at tmacfpv.com. Until then, I got some flying to do. Thanks for your time. We'll see you next video. Clear skies, friends.